I love robots, especially the super cute ones who are specialized for mobile manipulation, electrically powered and hydraulically actuated. That Don't we all I, we all do. That is how a new video describes the latest Atlas robot from Boston Dynamics. Uh, this video shows many things: walking through the door, do getting hit with a hockey stick, which is the craziest part. Because like in the robot apocalypse, who are the robots going to come for first? That you know, the guy yeah. in the video, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to pull it up here. Okay. Oh man, this thing's just. <laughs> they just. It, I. I get. I. I don't even know where to, to even begin because when you watch them, you see the human qualities, but then you know that it's a robot. And while it's cool, if I was to really encounter one of these in my actual everyday life, I would probably, I don't know, I'd probably pass out. Like it would <laughs> frighten me to like say hi to one of these things. It is. I think, I believe it's shorter than you though. It's five nine. Oh, oh. Well, Taller then never mind. than the rest of us. Taller though. than the world. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> what, what do you think, Lauren? Do you want to meet one of these? Someday. Yeah. You know, I find what Boston Dynamics, especially in their Atlas program, I find what they're doing to be really interesting. Obviously, the Atlas is designed to be their emergency response robot. If something happens, like a major earthquake or something where uh, humans cannot uh, get in and, and rescue potential survivors or uncover something, the Atlas robot is designed to do that. And it needs to be able to unlock doors, lift things, and yes, actually uh, compensate for being pushed off balance, which is what you see when uh, they hit it with a hockey stick, right? Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that it can compensate for balance because, you know, you don't know what kind of terrain uh, they're going to encounter. And I think that this is, you know, I personally believe that, you know, we're not going to see any kind of like liquid Terminator robot out to like kill your son anytime soon. Anytime but, soon. Disclaimer. Yeah, anytime soon. Okay. But I do think that this is a really important step, especially when it comes to understanding how we can respond better in emergency situations where it is physically too dangerous to put humans in this situation, in this scenario. Um, and and that, that could be really important, uh, especially in the coming years. Oh, man, no doubt. And having something like this uh, to go into places where it's just unsafe for, for humans to, to go into. I mean, you can... You can really kind of start to see the potential and just that that you were realizing science fiction as we watch these things. Now, this is really cool. Watch this. So they've knocked it over. It's like face first in the dirt, right? Well, on the ground. It's like Chumbawamba. Uh, mm -hmm. It kind of pushes itself and then just hops up and just goes, nope, no big deal. <laughs> and, and oh, that's my favorite part when it totally does the st the stand up. It's almost like it's a soldier. It goes with its hands. Yeah. Oh, man, this thing is so cool, but mm -hmm. so scary. <laughs> No, like it's that. scary when they look like humans. Like, you know. Yeah, I mean, as it becomes more and more human, right? Like my, my, I, I'm conflicted because on one hand, that's what I want to see out of robots because it's like the realization of all these sci-fi fantasies. But on the other hand, the closer we get to real human movement and, and all that kind of stuff, the, the more kind of like, I don't know, fearful is the right word, but I'm sure there's a name for this kind of reaction, you know, as far as responding Technophobia. to- Technophobia. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't consider myself technophobic. I just, no. I just don't want the robot to kill me. That's well, all. It's like what we were talking about, you know, with John Markoff about the uncanny valley. Yes, I like, think that's he was exactly talking it. Same about, deal. you know, in, in in robot voices. But it's the same. It's like when it, the closer it gets, the scarier it is. And and they know that. But I mean, you make an excellent point, Lauren. I mean, we talk a lot about like the robots doing the jobs that we don't feel like doing. But um, it's true that they are most useful when they're doing the jobs that are dangerous for us yeah. to yes. do as humans. Yes, I for one welcome our robot overlords. Good to I know. Do. They Can't heard wait. you. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Gadget really Hog excited. in the chat room has my has my emotion. Cautious. Cautious. Feel yes. cautious. Yes, exactly.